Hello, what's good, and welcome to CSE Sports. I'm your host, and I have a question for you guys tonight. And the question is about Trey Burke. That's right, from Michigan. You know, he opted to go to the NBA. He's going to take his chances on getting to the NBA this year. And I know he's going to get drafted, and I know he's going to be successful. But the question I want to ask you guys, is he the next Allen Iverson? Real talk, it's a real serious question. Is he the next Allen Iverson? The reason I ask this question, I don't know if you guys ever looked at Trey Burke's game and the similarities, similarities to Allen Iverson. Jump shot style. Crossover style. Everything Trey Burke does is like Allen Iverson. He looks just like AI with this game. Now, when I think about this, I think about what Trey possesses also like Allen Iverson. Being six foot tall, about 183 pounds, AI was 165. Being two years in college, his career in college, 16.9 points per game, 3.3 rebounds per game, 5.7 assists. Allen Iverson, Georgetown, 23 points per game. You know he was a scorer. 3.6 rebounds and 4.6 assists. The difference between the two. Allen Iverson had the green light totally to do what he wanted to do. He was one of the first of his kind to do that in college. With that type and that style of game with that crossover, he was phenomenal. Trey is seven points below him with his career average in college, but that doesn't matter because I'm talking about going into the NBA, what he possessed, going into the NBA. Let me break something down real quick before I end this video. I want you guys to look at college basketball from this perspective. Then I want you to look at the NBA from this perspective, what I'm about to give you. If you are a tremendously fast guy in college, what happens in the NBA, you become even faster. The NBA is pretty much from 19 to 40 with age. Night in and night out, you're not going to have a 19 or 18 or just a 20-year-old, uh, 21-year-old, maybe 27-year-old guarding you every night you are going to be defended by different age groups of players players that's much slower players that's much bigger everything you're going to have a, a just a different variety of players that's going to be trying to defend you night in and night out and when you have speed like trey burke and al iverson the nba actually becomes much easier to play in real talk far as scoring definitely because it's an aging league you know what i mean by aging it's like it's not a league full of 18 and 19 year olds. You have from 19 to 40. You know what I mean? So it's not like you're going to get just these young athletic guys defending you every night. And that's why I think Trey Burke is going to dominate in the NBA, just like Allen Iverson did, Steph Allen Marbury, a lot of the fast, short, quick, explosive guards did. Now, what will make this come to fruition even quicker? What team will draft him? That's another can of worms. You know, I think the best place for him would probably be Orlando. Orlando would be the perfect team for Trey Burke to start his career off in. The hell with Jamil Nelson. He's a good player, but I'm quite sure they're going to try to move him. He stays hurt. Orlando will be the perfect spot for him to go play. They need a real point guard. They need to start their franchise over fresh. That would be the perfect place for him to go. I want to know what you guys think about Trey Burke being the next Allen Iverson. To me, I think he can be. I don't know if he would be an explosive score as far as dominating the league like AI did, but as far as his style, I think Trey Burke can be that 20, 25 and 6 type guy in his career. I think he can be that. I think he can be that type of guy. 20, I'm going to take 5 rebounds away. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to give him 4. But I think he can be an uh, Allen Iverson type player. You understand what I'm saying? With his style, with his quickness. I think he can be that man. So I'm going to know what you guys think. Till next time, peace. I'm your boy Jay Howard. And I'm out.